everything that you read or you hear, they make sense to you in context of what you already know. In the You Are What You See series of works, I've developed systems that would take some kind of input from the outside world, process that and produce an output. They can only see through the filter of what they've seen before, which to me is a metaphor for how we see the world. For the project We Are All Made of Stardust, I basically trained one of these neural networks on images from the Space Hubble Telescope. So the algorithm goes through all of these images, learns what stars look like, it learns what galaxies look like, it learns about color palettes, it learns about composition. And then when I feed a live camera feed into this network, it just flows through this network. And at the other end, what is produced is an image that has the overall shape and composition and form of what it's seen, but made from the representations that it's learned from the data set. To me, the poetry with this particular data set is that we are all made of stardust. You know, every atom in my body was forged in the heart of a supernova somewhere far away. So when I see the world transformed like this, it just kind of underlines that for me. Can AI be biased? There's so many aspects that colour the way that these systems behave and react and see the world. And this whole series of works is especially about that. For one thing, the data that you choose to give it completely colours the worldview of the AI system. A project I did previously to Learning to See was a collaboration with a friend and choreographer, Alexander Whitley, called Pattern Recognition. The piece is effectively a duet two human dancers and eight robotic spotlights. And we have a bunch of cameras on stage that are watching the dancers fed to the system and the system controls the lights movements. The choreography is entirely a response to the way that the lights move and the way that the lights move is entirely a response to what the choreography is. And the themes that we were exploring were similar to learning to see. What does it mean to learn? What does it mean to understand? What does it mean to remember? And how actually the act of recalling a memory is shaped by the current context. Choreography is effectively the organisation of movement into patterns. And so I was interested in what a system of technology might be able to do to complement that. It really changes the way you can perform a piece when you're relying on another thing to respond in a certain way. It can teach me something about movement and choreography that I might not be aware of, but also visually bring something to performance that couldn't possibly exist any other way. I believe that eventually machines can be creative. I don't think there's any theoretical boundary to that. Am I the artist or is the machine the artist? An example I give is, I don't consciously tell my heart to beat, but it's just beating. That doesn't mean that it's separate from me. At this stage, you know, these are my creations. The machine may have a level of autonomy, but it is still an extension of myself. It's our colored representation that we're feeding to the machine, which to me underlines this notion of whether these algorithms are actually objective or biased, or are they learning our own visions of the world? Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.